Since the invention of the wheel, mankind has developed faster and faster methods of travel. With the development of the saddle, mankind started searching for more comfortable means of transportation. And upon the creation of maps, mankind aimed to make it to their destination with as few pit stops as possible. With each passing year, we're able to make our travel routines more convenient. We're also able to look at where we've come from to predict where the future of travel will take us. So buckle your seatbelts and join the hub for an exciting look at these 10 futuristic methods of transport. As you press the ignition button to start moving, don't forget to click on the subscribe button to keep exploring more amazing inventions and discoveries. If you want to see the future, the hub will take you there. Hoverboards In Back to the Future 2's version of the year 2015, hoverboards were as common as skateboards. Unfortunately, reality wasn't able to catch up, and luckily for skateboard manufacturers, the wooden wheel business is still booming. That may not be the case in the future. We've seen so-called hoverboards in the news recently as the devices that are susceptible to catching fire. But these new one-wheeled hoverboards from a company called Hoverboard Technologies may be an improvement on the other models. While it doesn't actually hover, it's able to balance on a single central wheel, like a tiny snowboard strapped atop a smaller unicycle. It's got the look and feel of an anti-gravity device as it gives ever so slightly to the shifting of your weight. This allows it to move at your discretion, making it a seemingly durable and dynamic personal electric vehicle. Built as a Tesla compressed down to scoot size, the device is 25 pounds and has a top speed of 16 miles per hour. On a single charge, the hoverboard can cover a span of 12 miles, meaning you can make it most of the journey from the top to the bottom of Manhattan Island without plugging back in. You'll just have to hitch a ride back uptown once completing your journey. Supersonic Subs If you thought the roadways were crowded, just wait till you see what happens to the sea routes. In China, a special submarine is being created that could travel up to speeds of 750 miles per hour. This can be attained thanks to supercavitation, a method which creates a vacuum or bubble around an object. Without the friction inherent to water travel, a supercavitated object can shoot through liquid like a bullet reaching its destination at supersonic speeds. This was pioneered during the Cold War when Russian torpedoes could reach velocities of over 200 miles per hour. With this form of vehicular travel, researchers hope to hit three and a half times that speed and sustain it as well. Ideally, the front end of the vehicle would be shaped in such a way to create the bubble and emit gas to keep the bubble intact. Some of the complications involved in the development process are how do you steer the vehicle and what goes into maintaining that bubble while moving. The research suggests that you need rudders made of incredibly strong and durable material that stick out of the submarine and give you the necessary turning radius. Any false move and you could burst the bubble. Jetpacks Like Steve Jobs' development of Apple, this special jetpack began in the garage of its inventor. Glenn Martin started designing his company's jetpack in 1981 and started selling his product in the late 90s. After another decade of hard work, it was recognized by Time Magazine as one of 2010's top 50 inventions, and in 2015, following another period of exploration, it had its public debut in China. Based out of New Zealand, the Martin Aircraft Company has distribution deals in all the continents except for South America. Although once this thing initiates a full-scale international release, it'll probably take off in that hemisphere as well. Billed as the world's first commercial jetpack, this device can allow its driver to safely reach heights of 2,500 feet, speeds of 25 miles per hour, and has a flight radius of 12.5 miles. While the business has recently seen some controversy due to unattained financial goals and Glenn Martin's own exit from the company he founded around 35 years ago, let's hope this revolutionary jetpack corporation gets their act together. Wouldn't you all like to be airless in the next five years, strapped to the back of a gigantic rocket-fueled backpack? Car sleds. In another development ripped straight out of a science fiction movie, Elon Musk is at the forefront of new technology that could revolutionize and declutter our city's roads. It's no surprise that Musk, founder of SpaceX and Tesla, is now looking to use underground travel as a new means to get around. Instead of straightforward tunnels acting as a subterranean route, these would serve as vertical shafts zigzagging underneath your local cityscape. Your car would drive onto a sled that would catch your wheels and fit snugly to your automobile, regardless of make or model. Controlled by a network of computers, these sleds would automatically take your car through the tunnels at speeds exceeding 125 miles per hour. Not only would it conserve your car's energy, 
This method of travel would conserve your energy spent yelling in traffic. While prolonging environmental health and shortening travel time, the complicated and expensive task of digging out these interconnected tunnels means we're several years off from seeing this in action. But the faster we start building an underground sled tunnel, the faster we can get to where we want to go. Maybe mole people got it right. Who knew the underground could be so promising? Hyperloop. Elon Musk's team of dreamers won't stop at car sleds. They proposed a brand new transcontinental super railway called the Hyperloop. This train is basically the little engine that could, and could, and could, and could. According to Musk, it's a cross between a Concorde, a railgun, and an air hockey table. In an enclosed track, locomotive pods move through at high speeds and a five mile test track is in the works to make Musk's vision become a reality. Like the bubble encasing supersonic subs, Hyperloop pods will move faster than your average train, thanks to reduced friction. The development team thinks this can be attained by using magnetic levitation. With magnets on the bottom of the passenger pods and aluminum on the tracks, the tunnels are proposed to have reduced air pressure, which will create a vacuum effect, pushing the trains at speeds of around 700 miles per hour. With an affordable $30 ticket price for travel between, say, LA and San Francisco, this would be cheaper than many crowded bus trips between the two cities. An expected launch in 2020 means that you could be whizzing through the west coast swifter than you can say, levitating locomotive three times fast. Skylon Here's another type of travel that may just rival Elon Musk's plans for reusable technology flying above our atmosphere. The Skylon spaceship proposal provides for a game-changing engine that's good for multiple trips and allows its vehicle to take off and land just like an airplane. Once it reaches a height of over 17 miles, it exceeds speeds of 3,800 miles per hour while tugging along over 33,000 pounds of cargo. Whether its orbital destination is a commercial space station, orbiting hotel, or interplanetary pleasure skiff remains to be seen. What is known is that the Skylon engine would allow it to land back at your local airport with the relative ease of a commercial airliner. While this technology hasn't been finessed yet, there are high hopes in the capabilities of the proposed engines. They burn oxygen in our lower atmosphere to chemically react to hydrogen stored in the engine and propel the plane forward, switching to liquid oxygen once in orbit. Then, the chemical reaction within the engines allows it to make a calm landing once it re-enters our atmosphere. Hopefully, this will help us make our reservations at the new restaurant on the moon in 20 years. Clip Air Until we get into space, let's look at some of the ways air travel can be simplified and improved. With the recent controversies hitting airlines for overbooking flights, Clip Air might be the solution everyone is looking for. Under these planes, individual modules line airport runways. These passenger-filled flight cabins resemble airplanes without wings. The capsules are picked up by a set of wings which latch on like a vulture picking up its prey. The piloted wings then take the capsules by air to the necessary destination. With multiple capsules under a single pair of wings, this setup can transport up to 450 passengers at a time, according to initial plans. This would be a big help for flights inundated by overbooking, delayed trips that need to meet their destinations but have been impacted by a storm, and passengers concerned about correctly coordinating a connecting flight. Clip Air's capsules could be adaptable to run on railways and be picked up by ferries, merging train, boat, and air travel into a new, unique mode of transportation. Someday soon, you'll be able to go from a landlocked city to a faraway island destination of your choice without having to leave your seat. Floating Tunnel In Norway, scientists and planners are devising ways for you to take faster shortcuts in your car, motorcycle, or personal electronic vehicle. Glaciers have been shaping the landscape for millennia and carved an environment that's beautiful to look at, but a real chore to traverse. The natural fjords along Norway's coast have created long winding roads and added hours to drivers' commutes. In order to combat this, the government of Norway is sponsoring a plan to build tunnels cutting straight across the many inlets and waterways, shortening the trip considerably. For a cost roughly the same as $25 billion, the Norwegian Public Roads Administration will submerge tunnels at a depth of 66 feet that will be held up at various intervals with floating pontoons. These buoyed tunnels are deep enough for ferries and other boats to pass overhead, they're also easier to construct due to there being no need to secure the tunnels to the deep seabeds. 
The team is also exploring the options of a massive record-breaking suspension bridge or a combination of bridge and tunnel. But we're hoping they choose a futuristic floating tunnel just to keep things interesting. Space Elevator Why take a floating tunnel when you can take a floating elevator into space? The International Academy of Astronautics has concluded that an initial 625 mile long tether could stretch into space by 2025 and would actually be beneficial to space exploration, the world economy, and everything in between. Eventually, a 62,140 mile long tether could bring a space elevator further out into orbit. Using carbon nanotubes, the structure would probably be about as thick as the average human wingspan and have the ability to bring 140 short tons into space. Whether it's transporting supplies for a nearby space station, launching a satellite, or serving as the jumping off point for a mining mission on a nearby asteroid, the positives of such a setup are plentiful. This tether will allow us to save money on launches with an easy takeoff point. Any shuttle heading into Mars will also be able to release themselves from the end of the elevator and use orbital velocity to slingshot toward the red planet with little exertion. Like Willy Wonka's Great Glass Elevator, you'd be able to travel to places you've only dreamed about before. And you don't need a golden ticket to get to the top, just an extensive background in engineering. Teleportation in the near future, taking a bubble-enclosed sub or a vacuum-enclosed train might even be too slow for you. How can they compete when you can get to where you're going before you even finish saying, are we there yet? Yes, the most fantastic element of Star Trek is becoming a thing of reality as University of Calgary researchers successfully completed a series of groundbreaking experiments. Ultimately, these scientists were able to instantly transport photons to a point four miles away. Using the principles of quantum entanglement, in which two photons become linked no matter how far away they may be, the researchers were able to transfer a photon at Calgary's City Hall into an entangled photon at the university. While it's not as big a breakthrough as teleporting a human, by timing the transfer of the particle down to a millionth of a second, it's a precise reaction that could revolutionize the communication of data. Sure, in 50 years we'll probably be able to ask Scotty to beam us up, but until then, we'll need to settle for the unhackable promise this has for quantum computing. Making your Google searches permanently secure. Faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, and able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. Our new forms of transportation will give us powers to rival Superman. As we move through this new technological era, with information available to us as quickly as we can type, isn't it only appropriate for us to travel just as fast? The world is changing at a lightning quick pace, and the best way to keep up with all these revolutionary breakthroughs is to watch more videos with your friends at The Hub. We'll be on the lookout for more inventions and crazy new ideas, so join us as we head into the future.